Good morning, and welcome to the war, the information war. I'm Delay Perez. It's July 29th, 2012. There is a red headline link at Infowars.com. United Nations, small arms treaty, not dead. The article by Kurt Nemo and Alex Jones. Opponents arrayed against the United Nations anti-gun effort prematurely celebrated on Friday as the treaty stalled due to member states failing to reach an agreement on revised language in the text. The treaty went into limbo after the United States, Russia, and China called for more time to consider revisions. NGOs and gun grabber groups trade the stall as stunning cowardice and a staggering abdiction of leadership and attributed the supposed failure to the Obama administration. A nameless diplomat went so far as to claim the U.S. had derailed the process and complained that there is little hope the treaty will be revived after the U.S. election. Yeah, we might need another massacre. The U.S. State Department, however, said in a statement released at the conclusion of the negotiating conference that the effort will indeed be revived after the election in November. Look, we need some time. We need some time. <laughs> we need to get this re-election. Look, Obama's already said he'll have plenty of more power after his re-election. The extended time frame will give Second Amendment opponents time to ramp up their propaganda campaign in favor of gun control following the suspiciously timed mass shooting in Colorado. A number of establishment intellectuals with CFR member Joe Klein leading the pack in Time Magazine are now pushing sensible and moderate approaches to disarming the American people. Klein's Time article set to roll out August 6th features a photo of a 100 round ammo drum of the sort James Holmes supposedly used in Aurora. Gun grabbers in Congress have set their sights on extended round clips and other firearm accessories. Look, only the blue hats can have that fancy weaponry. Okay, I don't know what you normal citizens need with armor piercing bullets. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, if you go look up who's bought the most of those armor piercing bullets lately, you'll find out why we really need them. Although Bloomberg in New York and Chuck Schumer in the Senate and others are talking up outlawing armor-piercing ammunition and semi-automatic weapons, the establishment responded to the bureaucratic snafu at the United Nations by playing possum or playing dead. Yeah, they, they didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. After the election finale in November and the installation of Romney or the reinstallation of Obama, as chief teleprompter reader in January. Not only will there be a push for a new round of restrictive gun laws in America, but the stalled United Nations Treaty will be dusted off and the bickering between nations will finally end with a gun grabbing consensus. I don't think so. Go watch my last report. We are the 50 United States of America. We don't want to be lumped into your UN, and we don't even want to be in it. It's garbage. And in fact, Obama heading the Security Council? That guy's no constitutional scholar. That was completely illegal. And he should have been... He should have been impeached right then. As Al Benson Jr. Notes, careerist politicians are reluctant to press forward on legislation for fear of their cushy jobs. As for senators, this is, after all, an election year, and if they antagonize their gun-owning constituency, many of them will be in big, big, big trouble. So they have to try to placate us, at least for now until they get back into office. Then all bets are off, especially if Comrade Obama gets a second term. No 
notice I didn't say when the second term. Al Benson Jr. writes, The corporate media has portrayed those of us concerned about a United Nations treaty outlawing our guns as conspiracy kooks and paranoids. Well, you should start talking about us as patriots on the news. You got that? Disarming America is undoubtedly a front and center political calculation for the globalists. Let's get one thing straight, citizens of the United States, of which I am one, so I'm talking to my peers here in the United States, and that's peers, P-E-R-S, not Piers Morgan. <laughs> right, we are the United States of America. The United Nations is Cobra. <laughs>